How to give a semen specimen. Firstly, it's essential to abstain from ejaculation for a specific period, usually between two to five days, prior to providing the specimen. This abstinence period helps ensure a representative sample with sufficient sperm count. Choose a clean, private, and comfortable environment for the collection. Many fertility clinics provide a private room for this purpose. If collecting at home, ensure that the container is sterile and provided by the healthcare facility. Wash your hands thoroughly before handling the collection container to prevent any contamination. It's advisable to use a collection container designed for this purpose, typically available from the healthcare provider. During ejaculation, aim to collect the entire ejaculate in the container. Some healthcare providers recommend starting the collection directly into the container, while others may suggest using a clean, dry hand to catch the ejaculate and transfer it into the container. Avoid using lubricants or condoms during collection, as these may contain substances that can affect sperm motility and viability. Once the specimen is collected, secure the lid tightly to prevent leakage or contamination. Label the container with your name, date of birth, and the date and time of collection. Follow any specific instructions provided by your healthcare provider regarding labeling and transportation of the sample. Transport the specimen to the laboratory promptly. Semen samples are time-sensitive, and a delay in analysis can affect the accuracy of results. Remember to communicate any relevant information to your healthcare provider, such as recent illnesses, medications, or lifestyle changes, as these factors can impact semen quality. In conclusion, providing a semen specimen is a crucial step in assessing male fertility. By following these guidelines, you contribute to obtaining accurate and reliable results, aiding your healthcare provider in diagnosing potential issues and guiding appropriate treatment if necessary. If you have any concerns or questions about the process, don't hesitate to discuss them with your healthcare provider for guidance and reassurance.